One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our organization is here to teach people how to make a change in the world for those that want it, while specifically improving their own life. And this is our weekly progress update number 49, and it covers the progress of one community's team working together for the week of January 27th, 2014. If you'd like more information, by all means, please visit our blog, our written blog, which contains all the details and links to everything that I'm talking about. And also, if you'd like weekly updates, if you'd like us to email you a weekly notification every time one of these updates comes out, please just send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into it. Starting with highest good education, this week the core team, which consists of the satellite members and pioneer members, completed the values image research. We also completed the art, music, and trade skills content, and we are now beginning image research on that section. Uh, also, we completed the social sciences molecule, and that looks like this. We're now working on the associated web page, and we'll be creating the values molecule after that. And then, assuming we've finished the image research, we'll do the art, music, uh, and trade skills one after that. Uh, in addition to all this stuff, we also finished the matter and materials lesson plan. So now that that's 100% complete on the website, uh, all the details. This is teaching all subjects to all ages in the context of matter and materials. So uh, take a look at the page. It looks just like this. Uh, it's an amazing resource, open source, free shared, and something that can be usable in any classroom right now, just as it stands. And if you use it and start to apply it uh, and are stimulated by it, come up with cool ideas, send them to us, and we'll make it even better. And last but not least, uh, we're seeking people who want to help create the rest of these lesson plans. So what you see here are all the lesson plans that we're working on our lesson plans page. We've uh, finished up um, three of them, and we've got about 30 more that are already outlined and so if you're somebody that's creative, if you're a teacher, if you're just a, a, an innovative person and you like to brainstorm and um, create awesome stuff, this is what we're working on. We'd love your help. This last week the core team in High Good Food finished the starter house research and design details that we will be adding to our Hoop House page over the next week. Uh, so you'll see those details going up on the website. It's the end of months of research and everything from plastic to different designs and different purposes for these hoop houses that has ended with us uh, deciding to create several starter houses. Also, um, we tested one more roof design for the Aquapini. The top design is the new design that we tested compared to the lower design and um, we're still working through the details on that and uh, this is what that looked like. So, but now that we've done that, I think we've got everything that we need to make the final decision necessary so that we can move forward on roof engineering. And um, once that roof engineering is done, we'll be able to do the roof engineering in 3D because we finished all the internal 3D details. And so we're now working on duplicating those 3D specifics and adapting them for the different structures since there are six different structures with uh, three different internal designs. Sorry, four different internal designs, and so uh, those details will be coming out not too long as well. So, and of course, we're progressing on CAD also, continuing to work on that. Um, and last but not least, uh, we also updated the open source SketchUp plant database page this week as part of the Earthbag Village planting plan details, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. So, um, this is what that looks like. And we are also seeking electrical engineer. So uh, as we continue to move forward, we're now at the point where we'd like to design all of the electrical systems for all of these 
uh, food houses as well as the Earth Bag Village. And so if you are an electrical engineer, or you know an electrical engineer that would like to volunteer their time with our group, by all means, please get in contact with us. This week in High Good Housing, we're working on two different village models. The first village model is the Earth Bag Village, which is maximally affordable, sustainable housing. And then the second village model is Straw Bale Village, which is modularly expandable, sustainable housing. And so uh, this last week, the core team redesigned Straw Bale Village open source portal. We're 70% done with this, so we continue to work on that. Hopefully, we will be able to finish this in the next week or two, uh, definitely within the next two weeks, but hopefully in the next week. Also, on the Earthbag Village, um, we're working on Tropical Atrium, which is the center. We're starting to work on the, well, we're continuing to work on the 3D of that design um, specifically. Now we're working on the terraces, the growing terraces of the hands feature that is within there that provides these 30 degree growing terraces, uh, 30 degree sloped growing terraced areas that will allow us to maximally plant that area and take advantage of all the sun that's going to be going into that structure. And so um, in this process we've identified some changes that need to be made and so we'll be sharing those next week. Uh, we also finished the Earthbag Village planting plan on paper, which looks like this, which is uh, our botanist done all the work to tell us what we need to plant around these structures for our growing zone, in, uh, and this works along with our food, food forest page, uh, which has all the details of all those different plants, and so here's the layout of what that's going to look like, and next we'll be putting these into 3D, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll be able to report on that next week. Uh, additionally, Philip Gill has progressed the second set of furniture designs for the Earthbag Village. There are two similar designs, with the first being for children or a summer camp type of situation with two single beds and storage drawers underneath, two desks, two desk chairs, a shift robe, and a ladder to the loft and storage above. The second is for interns or college students and has all the same elements as the first, but with added storage uh, of file drawers on wheels and a top that folds out to a small area for working, eating, etc. Uh, and this way students could also sit at their bed and work or they could be these two tables could be rolled together to create one bigger work table. And certainly last but not least, uh, Victor Herbert continues working on the vermiculture toilet engineering and here's some of the preliminary drawings and thoughts from this last week on that where we're looking at uh, what the trays are going to be made of, how much they're going to weigh, and the details of what it'll look like being able to empty those. And then, of course, here's the pulley system, the initial pulley system that we're starting to think about of how we'll be able to lift these trays up that will weigh uh, an immense amount when you're lifting four of them off the bottom one, pull that bottom one out, and take it and empty it. So more details, of course, on the website. And um, in this area, in Highest Good Housing, we are seeking a communications engineer and a plumbing engineer. So if you're a communications engineer and would like to help us design an open source Wi-Fi system that can be implemented anywhere in the world and provide uh, streaming internet, then contact us. Of course, if you're a plumbing engineer, we're looking for a plumbing engineer as well to work on those details for the Earthbag Village. And the Sego Center Duplicable City Hub. Uh, this last week, the core team finished adding the final two windows to the social dome for natural lighting in the hallways and also added in bench and stair details to indoor and outdoor natural swimming pool. Uh, work continues using images like this to carefully check and double check the correlation of everything we've created in 3D with what we've got in CAD. So Carl Harris, who's doing all the CAD work for us, uh, amazing work, can keep working his magic there. If you'd like to help us with this structure, we are seeking a structural engineer specifically to design the cupola structure and the elevator structure so they can both be done, uh, built without the use of heavy machinery because we want this to be duplicable virtually anywhere in the world. So if you're somebody that thinks they can help us with that or you know somebody, please get them in contact with us. Also. This last week, the core team finished the redesign of the open sourced Highest Good business portal, which covers Highest Good for profit, non profit, and entrepreneurial models, which we are designing in open source and free sharing to help people out in the financial sector. In addition to that, um, we finished the redesign of the Highest Good stewardship 
portal as well, which covers our definition of what highest good for all living means and all of the key components that are a part of that. And so from that page, you can link to all of those details and see all the specifics of everything that we're open sourcing in relation to highest good uh, complete Earth stewardship. So that's our update. And while we know that not everyone is interested in how to make a change in the world, or even asking the question how to make a change in the world, uh, we're here to demonstrate that if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough, and that's why we're open source and free sharing everything that we do, and if we can make it attractive enough, if we can demonstrate enough individual benefit for people, that this idea will become self-replicating and spread across the world positively and permanently changing this planet for everyone and everything living on it. And this is why we are also addressing everything together, all aspects of the human experience, the foundations as well as the societal and cultural aspects. When I look at high good education, high good society, recreation, those types of models, all those details, the reason why we're addressing all of these things together is because we see them as not only interconnected, but we see them as interdependent. And because we're designing everything and developing everything to be implemented either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration model, we believe that we're creating something that has something to offer to everyone. And so thank you for following our progress. Thanks for checking out our update. Until next week, um, signing off here. As always, please follow us on social media if you'd like to follow our progress. We are on all of the different social media networks out there. You can take your pick on which one you like to follow. We keep those updated regularly. And, um, and of course, if uh, what we're doing is exciting to you, if what we're creating is something that you'd like to participate in, if you'd like to be a part of World Change with us, then get involved. Take a look at the options for getting involved. Our entire team is a nonprofit, volunteer, unpaid team just working together, collaborating, cooperating on World Change, creating what we think can make the most difference in the world in the shortest time possible. And this is our answer to how, how to make a change in the world. And we invite anybody who would like to participate with us to uh, get involved, join our team, and, um, and become a part of World Change in Progress. So until next week, thanks for following our progress, and uh, have a great week.